Oh no, look, Jake's wearing this hoodie again. Oh no, people wear clothes more than once. Oh no! Hi people! Uh, today we're going to do some baking um, because I wanted to make this thing uh, which is the best thing you will ever taste in your entire life. So I thought I would show you how to make the thing. So it's called Tiffin, chocolate Tiffin, um, and uh, we're gonna make it. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's a list of the things that you will need. Chocolate of some description. Some butter or marge stuff. Some golden syrup. Look at this in the face. Oh, that is you. Some form of sort of fine biscuit sort of thing. Some sugar, but obviously this is a ceramic pot uh, with the word sugar written on it. But there is sugar inside, so... Um, make sure you have sugar inside your ceramic pot. Some cocoa. Um, you can use hot chocolate powder. That's okay. I would judge you for it. God might. Um, and also a Swiss roll size tin lined with baking parchment. What? Parchment. Hogwarts? Where's the f we, we don't have any of that, so I'm just going to use foil. What's a Swiss roll size tin? Who measures things based on Swiss rolls? We're using a packed lunch Tupperware box. It will do. Life isn't perfect, kids. Oh my god. The first thing you want to do is get one of these things. This is a pan. Um, and you want to put some... This has peas in it. In this pan you want to put four ounces of butter um, and unless you are a 50s housewife no one knows what an ounce is. And also I don't want to measure things so we're just going to put some butter in the pan. Yeah. Right, okay. Shit! Uh, it's gone. Well this is a fun morning exercise. Morning neighbours! You also want to put your ceramic pot of sugar uh, in the pan. Um, I'm being silly. Obviously you just need to put the sugar in. <laughs> About two tablespoons of this. You also want to put your syrup in here. Of course this isn't syrup, this is a tin at stop. Two tablespoons of this weird see-through Oh, it intimidates me sort of. The funniest thing about this recipe is that you don't really have to cook anything in the oven with your eyes because um, the only heat that you need is to melt stuff. Four teaspoons of the cocoa um, that we discussed about melting. <laughs> question, really quick question. Why does only this one do the, do the, thing, um, why, why don't all the other ones have it, and how do they light themselves if they don't have the thing? Oh my god, it looks like diarrhea. I mean, it looks great! Mmm! Yeah! Could go for some of this right about now. Ooh. Oh, shit. So this is hot chocolate instant, which means it already has milk and sugar in. So what you want to do, you want to not use this. Uh, you want to use cocoa that you need to add milk to uh, or else it looks like shit and I don't mean it looks bad it looks like shit like someone shit in my pan oh, 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 oh. so I couldn't find a bowl to mix things in but things have actually turned out okay because I found a juice bowl a ju <laughs> I figure once you've done with the mixture Pour it in. In this bowl, you need eight, no, ugh, eight ounces of uh, rich tea biscuit, so any sort of fine biscuit. Apparently you was meant to crush these beforehand and... Fuck. Someone help! That should do. I recommend that you can put anything in it, really, because uh, this is the biscuity base. So I'm going to put some gingerbread uh, men, 
to have my own little gingerbread man homicide. What? Now we're going to use a matcher. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I'm using my um, Tupperware box for ease of use. While I'm developing carpal tunnel, trying to smash these biscuits to death with a potato masher, you might want to start melting your chocolate. Um, so pour the boiling hot water into a pipe. This is going to end in disaster. This is safe, I think. <laughs> Make sure you brush all your crumbs uh, onto the floor. There we go. Everything just looks like poop. We're almost done with the biscuits. This is what you want. This is what you don't want. Uh, ooh! Now you want to add this uh, into this pan. Doesn't this just look delicious? Um, the answer is no. No, it does not. No. 420, line it. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Come over here. Get your pan and slowly pour your mixture in. Um, oh, that looks great. I sincerely hope that yours looks better than mine does. This is going to be the biscuit base. Uh, hello. So, um, you pretty much want to squash this down. And as you can see, you can see my mistakes that I've made in life. Oh my god, that looks so good on camera. But so mediocre in real life. Mixing can aid the melting process. Or just general destruction. Like this. Then pour it. Did I put sugar in? Yes. Yes, I did. Then spread the chocolate um, over um, the thing, and that will act as your second layer, the top layer. And there you go. Uh, pop this in the refrigerator. So yeah, I might be back soon, and um, I'll show you the finished tiffin, and I'll cut it open and stuff, like a vasectomy. What's a vasectomy again? I think it has something to do with cutting things up. Google. Vasectomy. Oh! Okay, well, we're not gonna do that. So once I've come back from college, here's a clip of the tiffin. Go! Ooh. I just got back from college. Um, let's... Oh. Uh, How? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, give me it all. This is really good. Back to studio, aka me from the past. Okay, bye. Enjoy your tiffin and um, don't eat too much or else Nash Breyer will not like you. But be yourself. Topical jokes. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you whenever I see ya. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.